Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and it's going to be a Raid Shadow Legends video as we head into the end of the week. It is Friday, and we've got a lot going on. We've got CBC coming up here in a few days. We are heading into the weekend for the Rosalvarg Fusion events. We've got Plarium coming out with a Raid Digest on their official Discord server, talking about some bugs and things like that that need to be fixed. So I will get you caught up on everything happening as we head into the weekend. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, to cover the post for you in the Raid Digest, they started by talking about live arena points, and remember that once you reach Silver 1, you are going to start to have consequences and losing points, and also in addition, active players will lose 5 arena points each day if they remain inactive, being inactive means you did not fight in the live arena at least one time in five days so gonna have to at least dive in there and do a battle every now and then in order to stay active on your journey towards getting some of those milestone rewards in the live arena and then as for the number of points you earn or lose in the live arena the number is the same for silver and gold every time you win you're gonna get five points every time you lose you're going to lose four points so i guess it's not a true winning percentage required to level up you can be a little bit ahead of the curve like 50 50 and you're still going to technically go up because you're getting five points per win and you're losing four per loss and then they've also got this here of also there is a small clarification on how to determine the winner if the champions of both players died in the battle the one who picked their champions first will be the winner the logic is similar to what happens in such a case in the classic arena where the player who attacks first wins and then also this next one is one that I have noticed a lot when I'm trying to play. And that is a bug right here where champions used in the live arena are ignoring the recently used filter. I noticed that it was like I would sort by recently used to try and use a similar team. And I would still have to scroll like way over to find literally the champions that I used in the previous fight. So hopefully that is going to be addressed pretty soon. They say it will be added in the next big release. We don't know if that's going to be a week, two weeks, a month, whatever. But they do notice it and it's going to get addressed. And then another confusing thing is the classic arena great hall showing a win rate of zero is a bug they're acknowledging and all that so some simple stuff here that's going to be kind of announced and adjusted around the live arena and then also they talked about the new tokens and keys menu and this is one of the best things they've ever added to raid in my opinion it's absolutely incredible it's that thing up on the top right of the screen i can show you right here but it is going to be that thing up here on the top right where it's going to be showing all the different resources and allowing you so you can see like oh okay i have got to run faction wars okay let's just go ahead and pop into faction wars or uh oh i haven't run iron twins yet let's go ahead and pop into iron twins fortress so yeah that is definitely something that should have happened a long time ago but hey better late than never it's one of the best things they've ever done and then also we are going to be getting a cvc coming up here in just a few days on this tuesday early in next week and this one will have personal rewards so get ready uh get ready to book some of your new champions save up all of your upgrades and stuff like that because a really important personal rewards cvc is going to be starting here on a tuesday which is always the day that they start cvcs and they actually they actually experimented with doing cvcs i think they did, they did like a weekend once and it ended up just not going well or something because they immediately went back to Tuesday. So yeah, anyway, Tuesday going to get a personal rewards CVC. And then also they are going to be doing an art contest, draw like a boss contest. And you're going to be able to do that until June 10th. Draw any boss from Raid Shadow Legends for a chance to win useful rewards and an Iron Twins avatar. Now, uh, they did provide a link over on the Discord server if you would like to participate in that. For those of you artists out there, I am absolutely atrocious at drawing. So it's not going to be something that I'm personally going to participate in, but wanted to cover it for you for those of you out there that are really good at drawing. And as we head in game, the stuff happening this weekend, the big thing is there is going to be 2x sacred shards going on. And this is going to be coinciding with a 10x for Theodore, who is a very solid champion and also a champion chase event that is going on for the Rosalvarg Fusion here in the champion chase tournament that we can see in game today, where you've got to get 2,500 points to acclaim that rare that you're going to need for keeping pace in the Rosalvarg epics you're going to have to get a hold of. 
and it's honestly a little bit rough. I mean, you got to get to 2,500 points. And if you're pulling sacreds, you could easily go 10 sacreds without getting a legendary. And then you're looking at needing 10 sacreds to get after the 2,500 points, which is absolutely brutal to acquire a rare up for grabs that costs somewhere around like 8 to 10 sacreds. And even if you get a legendary, you're still going to need to pull 5 sacreds, even if you got a legendary every single pull. So it's definitely a rough event. Now, hold Hopefully you were able to get a bonus copy of a rare throughout some point by pulling for ancient shards or something during one of the events like the summon rush last week or if you pulled it during the guaranteed uh, the guaranteed event where you are not the guaranteed but the bonus legendary event if you pulled during that hopefully you were able to get a copy of a bonus rare because this champion chase tournament is going to be a nice one to be able to skip I do have a bonus copy so I'm probably going to let this go. I don't think I want to be spending, if this was like 1700 or something, but 2500 is a lot to get a rare and like a, a little bit of energy and stuff. So going to be pretty brutal, but it's never really the worst time to pull during 2x sacreds for most accounts out there. Just do note that they're probably going to be doing a guaranteed event at some point in the next like two or three weeks, like they did with Michinaki. They usually do about one a month. So expect something like that to come down the road where they're going to do like 10,000 points and you get like 500 for sacreds and the mystery shards and all of that. They'll probably do another champion here in like two or three weeks. So just keep all of that in the back of your mind when you're thinking about pulling for the 2x sacreds this weekend. But also some other stuff that you're going to want to focus on here as we head into Friday and Saturday and Sunday is there is going to be a classic arena takedown tomorrow. So just make sure you're doing your arena battles over the weekend and then also spend some energy on the fire night to keep pace there and get the rare that you're going to want for Roselvarg. And then you're also going to need to make sure and upgrade some artifacts as that is live and also champion training. So really everything in the game you're going to have to kind of do over the next couple of days. You got your dungeon divers, your fire night, your champion training, your artifact enhancement, your pulling shards for champion chase. It's like the whole landscape of raid uh just to make sure we're kind of keeping pace for Roselvarg. it was a little bit of a lull this week and now as we head into the weekend there's gonna be a lot of stuff we need to get done and then there's really not gonna be much of a break because on tuesday we dive into a personal rewards cbc and we are also getting down to the final days here over the weekend for the Doom Tower. So just make sure you're progressing as far as you can. Just a quick little shout out to check your progress missions and your Doom Tower and make sure you're getting all of that kind of wrapped up as we head into the end of the month here. So as far as the offers are concerned, we, we, it's been kind of underwhelming the last couple of weeks or so. I've only seen like a one or two that would constitute as really good. Um, yeah, one for 25. This will be two for 50. And then finally, but like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, not, not okay. And then the, yeah, see, so there really is. And the thing is like, usually the sacred offers are going to be the worst ones you're going to see. So over the course of a two X sacred weekend, probably not going to be a great offer because sacreds are usually the worst bang for dollar, in my opinion, as far as shop offers and acquiring shards. Oh, and on my way out of the shop, we did get a special potions pack here. So let's go ahead and plug that in and see if it is worth anything. So, okay, let's go offer a calculator. And what was this? This was 20. And then we're getting 80 plus 60 is going to be 140 of the medium potions. Okay, so 140. And then we get 24 plus 12 is 36 of the superior. 36, okay. And yeah, that's a 0.5. So as long as you can get to like stage 15 20 in the potion keeps you're way better off to buy 20 dollars worth of energy and just run it but if you're a super high spender this would be a way to just get it instantly without having to kind of wait for the dungeons to open and all that like you have to wait for the spirit to open or whatnot because today it is going to be the uh the force and then it's going to be void over the weekend on sunday and then magic tomorrow and then you're going to wait all the way until monday for the spirit keep but it's really not that big of a deal because we still have plenty of time on Roselvarg. you've still got over a week still so really don't think that offer is going to make sense for the majority of you unless you're like a super high spender that just wants to get potions and you can't really grind the stages yet and also Plarium is going to be doing a fun thing with the content creators called like your biggest fails over the years and all that. So I've got a few in mind uh, for a fun video that Plarium is going to put for a, a, like a playlist on their official raid channel. So you'll start seeing a bunch of different videos coming out from the content creators talking about some of the things that, that the mistakes they've made over the years and their biggest fails when they were newbies kind of learning the game and all that. So I've got a few in mind. Let me know some of yours down below and maybe you'll remind me that I made the same mistake and I can talk about that in my 
my biggest fail array video for sure. So appreciate all of you. Enjoy your weekend. Have a great rest of your Friday and I will see you soon in the next video. I appreciate all of you. Remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily rage Legends content and I'll see you soon. Peace.